Hey, what's up guys? Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. Backpacking gear that you don't need. That's today's discussion and I'm excited to talk about it because it, uh, it can be one of those thought provoking type of conversations that we have that helps you as a backpacker really think about, do I need to take this piece of gear with me into the backcountry, kind of analyze your gear system and stop comparing everything to all of the really expensive potentially kind of things that you see on YouTube of gear loadouts and such. But before we jump into that, I want to just give a quick announcement that I'm really excited about. If you have been following the channel for uh, any period of time, more than a year, then you would recognize these bags as something that I used to make as a uh, small company that I was running with my good friend. We're not running that company anymore. A lot of time has passed. I'm now in a position in my life where I am back to making these zippered style bags as well as other types of bags that uh, I'm prototyping right now. Subtle hint, <laughs> but I'm, I'm very excited about it. And I'm opening an Etsy shop where those of you that have sent comments, emails, Instagram messages of how can I get these bags, you now have the option and I'm slowly building out my Etsy shop to have Dyneema bags, X-Pack bags, other various fabrics, and bags in various sizes and styles. So I'm excited about it. Etsy shop, link down in the description to check that out. It's a work in progress, so check back often to see things changing and being added to it. Okay, so backpacking gear that you don't need. Before we get into this and before I get into comments and things about, dude, why are you talking about this? And some of this is gonna contradict previous videos that I've recently made. Just, just go with me, just go with me on this. So the idea here is that I want to create some kind of thought process, thinking process for you, maybe as a new backpacker or an intermediate backpacker, somebody that is more than just like two or three times a year of going out and help you just think about do I really need these gear items when I go out on the trail? All of us are different in our styles of backpacking. So what I say here today is not gospel. It is not required. You get to make your own decisions on what you carry for yourself in your backpack out on the trail. But I want to create a thinking process of, huh, if this person that has this really expensive loadout on YouTube is doing this and I'm doing this, is that okay? And the answer is yes. But I just really want to focus on, think about your gear and consider what makes the most sense for you on the trail. Okay, so backpacking gear that you don't need. The first thing that I'm gonna talk about is you do not need expensive gear to have a good time on the trail. And what I mean is I've got this tent right here as an example, this is like a $400 tent. One man, $400 tent. Is it very lightweight? Yes. Is it awesome? Yes. Do I have to spend that much money to get this product or other products like what I have behind me to have a good time on the trail? No, I can spend less money. Yeah, it's probably going to weigh a little bit more in weight, but for the most part, I believe that the majority of you watching this video right now are people that go out just a handful of times into the backcountry each year. Maybe it's a dozen, half dozen, two or three times, and taking a little bit heavier items and saving some money when you are looking for those items is really what's gonna fit the bill for you. So something like this Stratus tent from Kylos is a great under $200 option that weighs about four, four and a half pounds. I don't know the exact weight off of this. I just barely uh, picked this up recently, but this is, this is what I'm talking about. You can still have an amazing time in the backcountry without spending a ton of money on a piece of gear and go with something like this and only hike, I don't know, 10 miles in, five miles in and have a great experience in the backcountry. I don't have to spend a lot of money on a super ultralight backpack. I can get something like, I'm not gonna pull it down, 
but that is a little bit less in money and still very comfortable. And it all depends on what your style, what you're trying to accomplish in your backpacking system. So you don't have to have a bunch of expensive gear to have a good time in the backcountry. And that is so important to realize and understand when you are watching various YouTube channels and YouTube videos on everything's Dyneema, everything is super lightweight, base weight's under eight pounds, like that's not necessary for everybody. So you don't have to spend a lot of money, you don't have to have expensive gear to have a good time in the backcountry. The next things I wanna talk about are very much more uh, gear specific. The first thing we'll talk about is if you're just getting into backpacking or you're looking at starting or you've just started in the last couple seasons, one of the first things that I see people do is they run out to the store, they buy all their backpacking gear and they're like, oh, I need hiking boots. You don't need hiking boots. Trail runners, like what I'm wearing, are a great, great option for the trail. They allow you to manage blisters really easy and it, it seems like very often with big boots like this, getting blisters is a very common thing. And so you don't need big bulky boots because the way the backpacking gear is now and the way that a lot of the trails that we hike on are now, they're pretty mild. And unless you are doing really aggressive hiking, you are carrying very, very heavy uh, loads on your back. That's when a uh, full ankle supported boot becomes something more important when you're carrying heavy, heavy loads, when you are doing things that are very much more aggressive like uh, alpine climbing or mountaineering or like things that you need that kind of stability. But when you're going on a casual hike in the mountains with about a 40, 35 pound pack, trail runners, your tennis shoes that you normally wear every day will be sufficient. And again, make the choice for yourself. The next thing that I wanna talk about is a little controversial. Well, I don't wanna say that word, but it, uh, it may not be something that you don't need, but consider whether you absolutely need trekking poles or not. I used to think that trekking poles were absolutely necessary. Now, if you have a trekking pole style shelter that requires you to have the poles to set up the shelter, then yes, you need them, <laughs> obviously. But these are not a requirement for you to have an enjoyable experience on the trail. In many ways, they take load off of uh, your knees and they help you descend steep trails and that kind of thing. So depending on what your needs are, where you're at terrain wise, what kind of hiking you do, they may be necessary, but for the most part, I don't believe that trekking poles are totally necessary. Do I still use them? Yes. But do you need them to have a good time on the trail? No, you don't. The next thing gets into a little bit of like uh, luxury type items and absolutely you do not need them. <laughs> you don't need any of this, really. I mean, okay, yeah, you do. You need a tent, you need a sleeping bag, you need shelter, warmth, rain jacket, keep it dry. All, this, all those things are important. But what I'm talking about, a pillow and a chair. Now this contradicts a recent video that I made of things that I will not hike without. I understand that, but those are decisions that I've made for myself. But in order for you to go out into the backcountry, you do not need a $40 pillow and you do not need a $100 chair. You can still go out, use your uh, jacket as your pillow, you can sit on a log, you can sit on the ground. The ground makes an amazing chair. I mean, it's there everywhere, so why not sit on it? <laughs> I'm being silly. But you don't need a pillow and you don't need a chair. And these are things that do add comfort to being able to have better nights of sleep on the trail and out in the backcountry. Chairs do make things more comfortable around the campfire and all of that. They are not absolutely necessary for you to get out and enjoy yourself in the backcountry. The last thing that I wanna talk about is a pack cover. And I think that this is an important educational topic for anybody that is new to backpacking. And let's talk about pack covers. Very often with brands like Gregory or Osprey or Kelty or Mountain Smith, those kinds of things, they will include a pack cover. 
Now, are these totally necessary? No. Is it okay for your pack to get a little bit wet in a little bit of rain and not soak everything into your pack? Yes. But the better option than using a pack cover, because these are difficult to put on, especially if you have a sleeping pad on your pack, like any of these closed cell phone pads, whether it's the Switchback or it's the Z Lite from Nemo, any of those, if you if you're using those, these pack covers make it really difficult for you to effectively use them and protect yourself uh, from getting a bunch of water and stuff into your pack. Plus, these don't cover the back panel of your pack, which is still a place that you can get wet from rain coming down uh, behind, your, behind your neck. So, a great option is to use stuff bags like this that uh, are mostly waterproof, water resistant, and will protect your gear. But using a pack liner, like these, like $2 super cheap, which you can get these from like Waymark gear, you can get them from Lightsmith, you can get them from Gossamer gear, lots of different places, but they're kind of noisy. But for a really lightweight uh, piece of gear, I can have everything inside of my pack stay nice and dry, and it protects everything way better than a pack line or a pack cover. Whew, that's noisy. Way better than a pack cover does, and you do not need a pack cover. You can go with a better option like the bag that is super noisy on the floor right now. So guys, that is my list of backpacking gear that you don't need. <laughs> think about it, think about what makes the most sense for you and uh, consider like, do I really need these items? And really hone in and dial in your backpacking gear to make it work for you and your particular needs, where you're hiking and all of that. Thank you for watching today, guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, do subscribe. I would love that. Again, check the link down in the description for my new Etsy store that I am launching, as well as links to all of these gear items if you are interested. It is a great help to the channel. You guys are awesome. Have an awesome day. We'll catch you in the next video. See you later.